I know this is easier said than done sometimes, but you just have to vent and move on. What I mean by that is you're going to run by clients, people, stuff that are just going to frustrate you. And there's two things you can do about it. You can either wallow in it and let it consume you and let it bother you forever and ever and ever. And that is not a healthy place to be. Or you can vent and move on. What I mean by that is that whenever I've learned, and it's a mindset thing that you have to train yourself, that after something bad happens or you have a client that's trying or trying your patience or um, you have a bad situation that happens in your business, it's okay to vent, but don't vent for days and hours and weeks and months. It's to, when you vent, it's time to vent and move on. I give myself about one to two minutes of venting to somebody and then I work really hard to get it off my shoulders and get a, and move on from it. It's not easy and sometimes I'm not perfect with it. I'm not gonna lie. There's, a, it, there's times where it's easy and there's times where it's hard, but you just have to vent and move on because if you don't, you're just going to piss yourself off and you're gonna upset yourself and it's just gonna, you're gonna live in that misery instead of living in the joy of whatever you're doing in your business. So whenever the next time something happens in your business, sure, get upset, get, get frustrated, get whatever it is, but vent and move on because it's not healthy to just stay and wallow in it and let it sit with you forever and ever.